بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم کلاس آئی ویلکم یو ٹو انگلش گریڈ سیون ویڈیو لیسن آئی ایم یور انسٹرکٹر ضیا حمید آئی ہوپ دیٹ یو آر ڈوئنگ ویل اینڈ یو آر ہیونگ اے گریٹ ٹائم لرننگ مائی ڈیئر لرنرس وی آر ڈیلنگ ود گریٹ سیون اینڈ آبویسلی وی آر گوئنگ ٹو کنٹینیو آور ویڈیو لیسن ود یونٹ نمبر تھری اینڈ اٹس اے پوم اٹس ٹائٹل از پیراڈائز اور پیراڈائز لاسٹ This will be our lecture number 1B with the competency of grammar. Now let's read our students learning outcome to see what we are going to do in this video. The SLO is demonstrate use of pronoun antecedent agreement recognizing their relationship. That is singular pronouns requires singular antecedent. Plural pronouns required plural pronouns. So, my dear learners, this video lesson and also our SLO is about pronoun antecedent agreement. And now, here is a vertical linkage of this SLO with the previous grade that you have already gone through and you have studied well. My dear learners, it's time to storm your brains a little bit and let's involved let's get involved in our student uh, learning outcomes brainstorming session and today we have a question that how can we avoid repetition of nouns in this given sentence the sentence is sana likes to read books sana goes to the library every day so how do you avoid repetition of the noun that's in front of you yes pause the video solve this question and then come quickly my dear learners the topic is about pronoun antecedent now let's read it let's define what is antecedent in pronoun antecedent agreement so the word antecedent means something that precedes something else in language it is the word that a pronoun refers back to here precedes mean that this antecedent is referring and preceding the noun that is before so so in a uh, pronoun antecedent the antecedent that we are going to use in the form of pronoun is actually preceding the noun that comes before and it's referring back to the noun it's very simple to understand my dear learners and now let's talk about pronouns and how it they replaces so the pronoun which replaces the noun must agree with it in these ways so these are the following ways in which the pronoun should agree re, should replace the noun and must agree with it so number 1 is a subject pronoun must replace a subject noun a singular pronoun must replace a singular noun and a feminine pronoun pronoun with feminine gender must replace a feminine noun an object pronoun must replace an object noun a plural pronoun must replace a plural noun and a masculine pronoun must replace a masculine noun my dear learners these are the rules that we need to follow in every kind of situation that's mentioned whether it's for an a subject pronoun singular feminine object or masculine and also plural so they must agree with the antecedent now let's look at an example from page 19 of your book the pronoun which in the line upon this beautiful planet which so many take for granted now this pronoun which is actually refers to the antecedent planet my dear learners this pronoun is actually referring back to its antecedent 
the example is in front of you you can read it this and try to understand that how this works now we know that pronouns must agree in number also let's see that and how it goes singular antecedent get singular pronouns let's look at an example the boy tossed his hat on the table we have a singular noun boy and tossed his hat on the table so we are dealing with a singular noun hence we are using a singular antecedent now plural antecedent gets plural pronouns if you have the sentence the boys tossed their hats on the table now the boys and the hats are plural so the antecedent will also be in the plural form next let's see that you will be facing two kind of problems in two cases and number one is when the antecedent is an indefinite pronoun and when the antecedent is a singular noun that could refer to a man or a woman so both for the indefinite pronouns and also the singular noun that could refer to a man or a prone uh, or a female so these are two different situations in which you have to be very careful now let's start with our indefinite pronouns so these are all the indefinite pronouns and they are usually treated as singular so another anybody anyone anything we will use our pronoun antecedent in the singular form now let's look at some more rules about understanding and correctly using pronoun antecedent and making it agree with each other so when you can just make the antecedent plural a teacher should show their students love and compassion now this sentence is incorrect because we are using a singular noun in the sentence hence the antecedent should also be in the singular form and when we are using the uh, plural plural noun we should be using the antecedent in the plural form hence it will be considered as correct now let's look at another an other uh, another example often a doctor will leave their patients waiting for a ridiculously long time this is incorrect because the noun is not agreeing with the antecedent pronoun often doctors will leave their patients waiting for a ridiculously long time this one is correct because the noun is actually agreeing with the pronoun antecedent maria learners let's move forward by looking at some more uh, pronoun antecedent rules now for compound antecedents compound antecedents are usually plural let's look at an example javed and maria think their kids are brilliant now we used a plural antecedent pronoun because we are dealing with these two but together if two antecedents are joined by either or or neither nor the pronoun agrees with the antecedent closest to it let's look at an example either michael or his friends will bring their video games now we are using this pronoun antecedent in the plural form because the closest one is the closest noun we have is in the plural form which is friends either his friends or michael will bring his video games now to the party now here we use his because the closest noun is a singular noun now this sentence is correct but sounds illogical word the sentence like the first example rather than the second so this is correct but it sounds illogical 
hence we will prefer to use the first one which was either Michael or his friends will bring their video games. This is the logical and the correct one that you can use. The pronoun agrees with the antecedent, not the object of the prepositional phrase. This is yet another rule. Let's see how it goes with an example. Each of the dogs need its own crate. Now, let's read it again. The pronoun agrees with the antecedent, not the object of the prepositional phrase. Hence, when we are using each, since it's a singular, we are treating them as singular. So, we will be using the pronoun antecedent, it's, because we are dealing with an object. The object is create over here. So, these are some rules that we viewed. Now, here are more rules. Let's go with the collective noun. Collective noun can be either singular or plural, depending on the context. For example, the jury took only two hours to reach its verdict. Now, we see that we are using its because it emphasizes the singularity of the jury. The jury is treated as a singular. So now, let's look at in another way where we say that the jury took only two hours to reach their verdict. It emphasizes the jury as a group of individuals. Now, both these are correct as we talked about earlier that it depends on the context of the sentence. Another example is, a doctor should listen carefully to his patients. Now, this is incorrect. We would rather say, making the pronoun and its antecedent plural or reword the sentence. If we say, doctors should listen carefully to their patients, now we are having an agreement of the pronoun antecedent with the noun that we are referring to. Another way of saying this is doctors should listen carefully to patients. We have reworded it. So, we should be, we can either change it or we should reword it. So, now we saw in both the collective noun and previous sliders, slides, we saw them in compound nouns. My dear learners, now let's begin. Uh, with after recalling our concepts and learning more about and learning rules of pronoun antecedent agreement in, in ways in which we can use them correctly. It's time for you to watch this simulation video right after you finish watch, watching this lesson. You can learn more about pronoun antecedent agreement and rules using this video. Now, time for your classroom activity. Here we have a page number 19 of your book, read the given paragraph carefully, identify pronouns and their antecedents and write them in separate columns in your notebook. Now you know that for singular, both male and female, what kind of pronoun antecedent you will be using and how you will make its agreement efficient. And we also saw them in the plural forms, it's time to do this interesting classroom activity, come up with your own sentences and make pronoun antecedent agreement in the sentences. Now, here we have a worksheet for your better understanding, followed by a homework in which you have to make sentences in your notebook using pronoun antecedents. You can make the, as much as you like and try to remember all the rules that we learned so that you don't do not make any kind of mistake now finally we are here with some resources at the end for your help and your better understanding all these resources are available in the description of the video you can access them easily my dear learners thank you for listening i hope that you had good time learning about pronoun antecedent agreement in both the singular and plural scenarios with different situations and we also learned rules for compound nouns, collective nouns and to also avoid genderism in the sentences.
टिल द नेक्स्ट वीडियो लेसन अल्लाह हाफिज